is his local biz now. My co-host is Chris Hope with uh, the WSIC. He is the news director and the assistant general manager. Chris, you want to take this segment on? Uh, I watched fake news being developed because the Pat McCrory, you, you, it was about a week or two ago, you let me listen to the Pat McCrory radio show. I got angry, and I immediately picked up the phone and tried to get up with Jim and Bill because I wanted to put them in a news story to have them defend themselves. I <laughs> Pushed you in my car with your camera, and we went tracking these gentlemen down. We went so far as to go to the to the Red Robin parking lot <laughs> and, at North Lake at North Lake to get Jim to, to get their opinion. And I watched them give you the what not and the what for on Pat McCrory. And then all of a sudden, I get this news report that you send me that you created that was nothing. Like what I heard these two okay. gentlemen say. We're going to play the report, and then I'll explain to you why you're wrong. Robert, okay. play the report. Former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory is calling for Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce President Bill Russell to resign following this week's NCDOT meeting concerning I-77 tolls. Transportation Secretary Jim Trogdon said a full contract buyout was not feasible and that other options were being considered. No immediate action was taken. McCrory made his call the next morning on his WBT radio program. The North Mech, Lake Norman, head of the Chamber of Commerce, should resign today. Oh! <laughs> because he has been lying to the people of North Mech now for two years about the I-77 toll project. McCrory says he has a conflict of interest, but that Russell lied by saying the contract was illegal and that Cooper would fix the tolls issue. Russell says he never used the phrase illegal. What we said is we, we, we sincerely hope that Governor Cooper addresses this problem. I really do believe in the next two years we're going to find that solution, that he is going to address this problem. Uh, I'm a Republican. I had hoped that the last governor would, would solve this problem, and he did not. And I think... Uh, that's a failure of leadership on his part. McCrory also called out North Mecklenburg Commissioner Jim Puckett, saying he should resign from the Republican Party. <laughs> We're fooled. We're lied to. And some of them knew it at the time, but for political reasons did not say it, including Republican Jim Puckett. Oh! Puckett feels McCrory is still upset about losing the governor's race. Everybody agrees this needs to go. We need to drop the politics now, find a way out of this. For now, toll construction continues. The NCDOT says it will report to you the can, General Assembly okay, by the end of the just, just idea. stop that fake so, news. <laughs> it is not fake news. Here's why. Fake news, just because you don't like it and because you're friends with these guys, and that's great. They're great guys, but you wanted to see more. More from them and, and what you felt they said you didn't feel that we delivered on. Okay, but, okay, but before, let, me finish, let me be clear let on me it. Finish. Jim, <laughs> Bill, <laughs> and myself all commiserated it after we matter. got your stuff on Fox 46 and we all said, that was nothing Hurry up. what I, got, I, I heard. Gotta, I gotta say this. We got like seconds to go. Yeah. So we had a minute and, thir and 15 seconds to explain the entire thing. We had to get all the pieces in there and be fair. Just because you don't li don't do not like it does not make it fake news. We and, stand behind our report. Yeah, and the truth is, it was accurate. It just wasn't the spirit of exactly. what that gentleman was just trying to your say. Your opinion. The bulldog had something to say, and it didn't get said properly. Liar. <laughs> Who wants to be fair, Joe? <laughs> Joe could never do my job. And this is the end of local biz now.